Hello, it's Rachel from Caramel and Cream. Sorry, it's been absolutely ages since I last did a video. Um, I haven't dropped off the earth, <laughs> but I'm back with a small um, video today just to show you a quick Christmas card tutorial. This one is using the Be Jolly by Golly stamp set. Um, I love this little set actually, it's really sweet. It's got the two main sentiments, Peace on Earth, Be Jolly by Golly. And then it's also got this little one here, which is to you and yours. But then you've lots and lots of tiny little elements as well, snowflakes, stars and trees, etc. On this one I used a piece on earth and I used a little church that's on here as well. I'm just going to show you a different version. I'll just pop these out of the way. Okay, so you need Whisper White cardstock, 8 by 4 just scolded, uh, scolded, scored in half <laughs> to make your card blank. Some real red, which is four inches by two and a quarter inches, and then another piece of whisper white, which is four by two inches. And these are all just going to layer up on top of each other. So we'll start off with our card blank. And on this side, I'll just show you. You have these little Christmas trees. They're not um, they're not joined together. They're actually three little individual stamps, so you can just use one if you wanted to. I wanted to use the three for this one, and I found the best way to line them up is actually to use your grid paper. I don't want to get my head in camera, but I don't know if you can pick that up there, that the bottom part of the trees where they go across are all in a line along one of the lines of the grid paper. And it just means that you get them all nice and even along the bottom. Just a little tip there. So we're going to start off, we've got some cucumber crush. Just move this that way. I'm just going to ink up our trees. And these are photopolymer, so it's great. You can see exactly where you're going. I just line my card blank up against one of my lines on my grid paper. And we're just going to, in the bottom corner, just gently press that on there. Okie doke. That's all we need the green for. I'll just move this out of the way. And we're going to take in our Whisper White piece. This one we've got real red. And we're using the Be Jolly by Golly. This is more traditional colours. Now when you're using the first primer, it's a good idea sometimes actually to put a mat or something underneath. Um, this is a full or almost full piece of grid paper, so I'm not doing this time um, just because it does have enough pressure resistance there. Again, if you line your piece of cardstock along with your grid papers, it gives you a rough idea of where you need to go and then you can kind of come in hopefully line it up. Like I say, I can't lean right over because I don't want to get my full head in camera shot but it will give you an idea. That's not too bad. And then you can use snail or tombow just to lay this. I'm going to use some tombow because I like the fact it gives you a minute just to make sure you're exactly where you want to. So that came out a bit quicker than I planned. And I'm just going around the edge on this, not into the middle, because you don't want it to start buckling or bending. And then just try and line it up as best you can. So you an even space at top and bottom. It doesn't look too bad from the angle I'm at. And then I just flip it over and give it a little rub on the back, just to make sure that that's nice and secure. And try not to ooze glue out and get it on the front like I just did. And again, some Tombow onto the back. And this time you can go all around the edges and then into the centre as well, just to make sure that does exactly stay where you want it to. And bring in our card blank. Make sure when you're lining up that you're not going to cover the tops of your trees that you've already stamped. We'll bring it into position there. And again, if you just make sure you've got a nice even space all along the top, so you know you're roughly lined up. And that doesn't look too bad. And just press lightly. And then you can leave it there if you want to. If you just want quick, simple cards and you're in a rush, this is a super way. I've just added on this one my piece on earth one, I've just used some of the gold sequins just to add a little bit of touch. 
So this one I wanted to use red. Now we don't have red sequins in the Stampin' Up! catalogue, so I actually got these from a local store that's nearby and does sewing knitting crafts. I'm not a sewer or a knitter, but I just popped in and got these little sequins. So these are red ones. We'll just pick out three. And I'm just going to use um, a mini glue dot to attach these on. So I stick it onto the glue dot first, I found is the easiest way. And you're roughly getting it where you want the glue. And then you should just be able to lift it off and pop it onto your card. She says, and you can see there, look, it's left in. <laughs> Always on camera, isn't it, that this happens. Let's try again. For some reason, that peeled off the back of the sequin and left the glue dot there. So let's try again. And we'll just get one more sequin out. See a dodgy sequin just to show me up on camera. And we'll try again. And just place them randomly wherever, wherever you want that added little touch of bling. And there you go, a really quick card, great for this time of year when you've got lots to make, especially if you like my family, you have lots of um, aunties, uncles and family oversee. But two different options, using the one stamp set and just two different colourways, one more traditional with the real red and cucumber crush. Um, this one was actually um, smoky slate for the church and then I used pool party for the card and the piece on earth. Hope you like it. Um, if you'd like to order any Stampin' Up! products, you can just follow over onto my blog. There will be a link for you to click on. Um, there's details there. There's also some other ideas that I've done over the past um, videos. Um, there's also great offers online at the moment. There is um, 40, up to 40% off this week on some products. So do go have a look and don't miss out on those great offers. We'll see you soon. Bye.